Hi, I'm Mike Pumphrey from Empathic Finance. It's the holiday season, which means congratulations, we're almost done this year. Now when the holidays show up, that means it's holiday shopping time. The crass over-commercialization of the holiday season has been talked about ad nauseum. We all know we've lost the spirit of the holiday season, although at this point the holiday season is shopping. Point is that we've talked about this before. But it seems like everything we've talked about before, we need to talk about again because of the pandemic. It changes everything. Shopping's been fraught for a long time. Those of you who are of a certain age might remember in 2001, after the 9-11 attacks, George W. Bush famously asserted that the way for us to respond to the terror attacks was to go shopping. We cannot let the terrorists achieve the objective of frightening our nation to the point where we don't we don't conduct business, where people don't shop. That's, that's their intention. I think what W was trying to say is that shopping is part of our normal, regular way of life. Also, isn't it weird to look at politicians from 20 years ago? I'm just saying, it's a totally different world. And I'm getting a little bit of the same vibe today, that we should shop in order to protect the businesses that have been hit hard by the pandemic. As someone who is self-employed, I have a lot of sympathy for other businesses that are trying to make it on their own right now. I read a report recently that said that 60% of the businesses that temporarily shuttered are not going to reopen. And this was back in September. And this got me to thinking a few things because we're at war now. It's not with a group of people, it's with a virus, but we're still at war and therefore we should have a wartime mindset. So the first thing I do is think about the great wartime presidents and think, what would they have said? December 7th, 1941, a day that will live in infamy because of all the great sales. Did you see what's happening at Macy's? So once again, we're at this shopping as patriotism moment. Now, obviously, we can agree that Amazon doesn't need your money. There's nothing patriotic about using your Prime subscription. But what about Small Business Saturday or Cyber Monday, which is lasting all week, or Empty Your Wallet Tuesday? What about all of these different days when you're supposed to spend money in other places? In this time of national crisis, isn't it patriotic? Isn't it the right thing to do to purchase things from shops, to maybe spend a little extra than you would have ordinarily to help keep the shops afloat? No. Sorry. Spending is neither good nor bad. The point is to spend intentionally and using the guidelines that you have set out for yourself. And I say guidelines and not budget, because guidelines in some ways supersede budget. They're about values. What do you think is important? Your budget falls from your values. Our dear president-elect once said, don't tell me your values, show me your budget, and I'll show you your values. I really like that. And now, I'm all about charity. I'm all about giving money to those who need it. I just hate that we as a society are using charity as a substitute for good economic policy. A lot of this financial hardship that's happening around the country is totally unnecessary. These stores don't have to go out of business. These people don't have to lose their jobs. Anyway, I could go on and on. All I'm saying is that this holiday season, you are experiencing or likely to experience even more pressure than you probably ordinarily do. And that's why it's so important to remain intentional, to think in advance about what you want your money to do so you don't wake up and wonder what happened. As far as I'm concerned, that's how the terrorists win. I'm Mike Pumphrey for Empathic Finance, helping you move from money anxiety to financial empowerment. And happy holidays, however you celebrate them. The American people have got to go about their business.